Welcome to this uh, new video of Lord of the Jars. This is the second video of Quarkus. Remember that in the first one, I introduced your Quarkus, how you get started with it, and you know we develop a simple REST API. And as I showed you, one thing that was called live reloading, where basically you just start Quarkus and any change that you do on your um, IDE, it was automatically reflected on the um, live instance of Quarkus, right? So you could just fix it back with just live reloading. But this um, live reloading also allows us to do one thing that I called live debugging, which is exactly the same, but in terms of debugging. Let's see in action. Okay, let's see this live debugging, what it's about and how we can use it in Quarkus. I have here the project that we created in the previous um, video. I'm going to do a Maven compile Parkus dev, which is going to, you know, compile and deploy the, um, the service. So just start it at port 8080. And notice one important thing is that also by default, it's starting um, 5005 ports as well. And we're going to see now why. So now I'm just going here and I do a call HTTP localhost 88 slash Acme. Sorry. Now, I notice that it returned nothing. And it's like, why? In theory, it should return right hello wall or something like that. This is the project. Okay, notice that I have here the back point. And then the only thing that you need to do is configure your um, IDE, right, to uh, do a remote debugging. So in this case, in IntelliJ, I just go to run debug, and, uh, and I've got here a profile which is called Quarkus, which connects directly to this localhost 5005. If you want to see how this looks like, you can go here debug and then edit configurations and see that Quarkus it's just, you know, name and then the host is local host and the port is 5005. I mean, this is the default one. And then um, yeah, I'm just, you know, just done as, as debug. And um, here I have the debug point. And now I just go here, I do a call and notice that now I'm just debugging. I'm just debugging here and say, if message length is greater than zero and notice that message is hello world, then returns this. So of course it goes here and it returns nothing. And I said, okay, but this is not what I want to do is, what I want to do is like if length is equal equal zero, then just return, um, you know, an empty string. So I can go here, I do equal equal. Notice that I'm not doing anything. And then I can go here, I do a curl. And again, I'm debugging what I've changed. Now length is zero, so I'm returning the message. And then, of course, it returns the message. So notice that now, with this um, live uh, reloading, live debugging, you can just, you know, start your service, put a debug point, do some modifications, and without having to uh, replace anything, without having to uh, redeploy the service or repackaging the, the service, nothing. I can just do a change and continue debugging the change that I have done. Hope that you enjoy it. Hope that you find it really useful. Hope that you also see it as a really good uh, future of uh, Quarkus. If you want to uh, keep updated with more videos of Quarkus or uh, CLI tools or Java in general, just subscribe to the channel or subscribe to my Twitter, which you can see it on the description of the video. See you. Bye bye.